So it's Monday and it all starts again. And I thought I'd throw myself right in the deep end, 10K time trial, which if you look on Strava, you see it, but I'm not gonna announce that now because I went to the videos out. So it was a 1.7 mile warm up and then time trial time. It's only one degree, so I wasn't expecting much. Uh, got a PB, but still a little bit disappointed because, you know, I was hoping for a sub 38, but, you know, what do you expect in one degrees? And then I'm just going to walk a bit at home just to get my breath back and then probably do about a mile warm down. Ready to put some miles back in the legs tomorrow. So let's roll on tomorrow. Uh, let's hope it warms up, but, you know, it's winter, so it's only probably going to get worse. So speak to you tomorrow. So another 10 miles done, undulating, 7.42 pace. Uh, I was actually quite surprised after yesterday's time trial. I thought that I'd be, you know, more broke, but um, legs felt fine. I say running in the uh, uh, Pegasus 37s again, which seems to, seems to be great on the feet. You know, um, don't seem to get too much muscle fatigue, um, up to 85 miles now. So another 20 miles and then I'll give you the review on those. Um, you may or may not have watched, I can't even talk, I'm so cold. Uh, you may or may not have watched yesterday's uh, video, which I will put at the end, and I'm not going to obviously spoil it if you haven't. Um, obviously, it was cold yesterday, it was one degrees, zero today. And on easy runs, it doesn't seem to affect me, um, but on when I looked at the data um, on the 10k time trial, that um, it kind of increased my heart rate running the cold, especially running at speed probably by about 10 beats per minute because after about two miles I was up to my threshold heart rate which is um, 168 to 170 when at the pace that I was running at that would normally be my kind of tempo pace which is around about 158 160 so it is interesting um, obviously I know in future not to do a time trial when it's uh, freezing conditions um, but you know this is all come, come on on us quite quickly um, because only the last few days that we've dropped to kind of freezing temperatures so I might need to get myself here is it called a snood that it goes on your neck and over your mouth or, or maybe we just need to get used to the conditions um, and it'll be fine once I've been done it for a few more runs so so let's roll on tomorrow uh, hopefully another longer run tomorrow because as I mentioned in yesterday's uh, video that I think you need to train for your weaknesses so mine is uh, endurance um, so I just need to kind of increase the miles and, and you know, get that long run into two hours because I think that's probably the most important. You know, it doesn't have to be any specific pace, but it just needs to be on your feet for two hours and maybe get the miles kind of, you know, regular 50, maybe up to 60. Um, so just have a look at your, your training. If you've got the speed, then obviously you need to increase your endurance. And if you haven't got your speed, then, um, you know, and you've got your endurance, then obviously work the opposite way around. But... I think it's key that you work on our, our negatives rather than our positives. So let's roll on tomorrow. So back running today, took yesterday off. I was just listening to my body. My legs were aching. I've still got a bit of a cold. So I think it's just important to kind of, you know, adapt to training. Uh, hopefully try and finish on form, you know, 45, 50 miles to the week. This means I have to obviously put more in at the weekend. So but that's not a problem. Uh, today was just an easy run. Uh, I'm trying to get some more miles in the Pegasus 37 to get into the 100 mile review, up to 90 odd miles in them, so nearly there. Uh, just an easy run, legs felt great today, uh, 8 miles, 7.39 pace, uh, because I want to go for a run this afternoon, because I just found out that my new shoes are turned up from Nike uh, later, so you know what it's like, new shoes turn up, got to go for a run in them. So they're going to be the uh, Nike Tempo Next Percents, um, and they've got such mixed reviews. Um, I got a discount code on them, so I managed to pick them up for uh, 127. So we'll see how they go. You know, if, if they're not right, then I'll send them back because that's the advantage with Nike. Um, but because I've been wearing the Pixis 37s with the airbag, I'm, I'm hoping that you know it should be an easy transition. But I'll do a review in them later. Um, so I think it's important to do a review on, you know, when you first get the shoe. Yes, it's important to do a 50, 60, 100 mile review, but Sometimes we send shoes back too early, like these, you know, Pegasus. If I would have gone on my initial view, I'd have sent them back. But you know, I'm liking them now. But I will 
tell you a bit more when I do the review. So let's roll on this afternoon's run. And maybe I'll speak to you then, or I'll speak to you tomorrow. Cheers. So it's back from an undulating 10 mile run, um, 7.41 pace. Legs felt a little bit heavy, around about six miles. Um, wearing the Pegasus 37s again. Got to 106 miles, so a review will be coming in them soon. And then tomorrow, I've just got 10 miles to finish off the 50 miles of the week. Um, so it'd be good to actually do the 50 miles with two days off. Um, but I'll have to see how my legs feel tomorrow. I'll be back in the uh, Zoom flies tomorrow, um, which will make a change because I've been wearing the um, 37s pretty much every day just to try to get the mileage up. So it'll be nice to see how they feel. Um, and yesterday um, I mentioned that I was going to go for a run in my new Nike Tempo uh, Next for Sense, uh, which you may have seen the video. If not, it will be the end of this one. Um, I end up doing uh, 3.2 miles, I believe. Um, did some flyby shots and just test them out. So I'm not going to tell you how that went. Uh, you can watch the video. So I will speak to you tomorrow. So mission accomplished. 50 miles for the week. Um, really pleased with that. As I said yesterday, considering I took two days off. Um, today was 10.3 miles, just so I can finish off more or less exactly on 50 miles. Uh, 7.14 pace. Uh, but today I used the uh, Zoom Flies, the version 1 which I haven't worn for some time because I've been trying to get the miles in the Pegasus 37. But initially, as soon as about half a mile down the road, the comfort level in the 37s is miles superior to the Zoom Fly. Um, but then I kind of carried on and then thought, oh no, the pace is quite good in the Zoom Fly. Um, but then after the run and come back, looked at my data and the time and compared it with a run in the Pegasus 37s. And to be honest, not much difference in the actual time and the heart rate so I think as we get older maybe cushioning more than you know lightweight um, I don't know but it just shows that, that the Pegasus 37s are actually pretty good once you actually kind of well once I actually wore them in uh, obviously a review will be coming soon um, yes the, the zoom flies are lighter they've got the carbon plate but are they yes I suppose they're quicker on the on the, the quick stuff but on the kind of tempo runs I don't think there's a great deal of difference to be honest uh, my legs now actually feel quite beaten up but every time I've worn the Pegasus they, they feel fine when I come back so maybe I need to so I need to consider um, when I'm doing the long runs you know maybe stick to wearing the the, the 37s because they just I don't know, my legs just feel fresher um, obviously it doesn't help to run in uh, 31.5 miles in um, in five days we're well, not five days five days of the week because I obviously took two days off this week so I wanted to get to the 50 miles still got a bit of a kind of sniffles on the nose um, which I've been trying to get rid of but it's just kind of hanging around uh, so that's why I listened to my body and took, took the Wednesday off um, and this week um, it's not really channel news but what's going on this uh, on Wednesday is the live stream so if you watch the first one um, just kind of running chat, banter, mainly directed at me, but it's a really good laugh. Uh, so this is the second one, kind of Christmas special. So if you've got any questions, drop it down in the comment. So that's with myself, Ben Notley and Dan Runs. It is really funny, light-hearted. You know, by all means you can ask us questions. Um, but if, if you could do me a favour and just check out their channels and subscribe to them, because um, they're, they're great guys. And so I went on the uh, uh, run with them and had a real laugh. Um, and we're just doing it, you know, just for fun. Um, and we've got something to announce uh, next week. So, well, not next week, next year, sorry. Um, so please check out their channels. We'll put links and I will speak to you next week. And I'm taking tomorrow off or today when you're watching this, which is Sunday. So I'll speak to you then. Cheers.